Judge was one of many topics that Hal Steinbrenner was asked about when he recently sat down with our Meredith Morakovitz. And as we continue on Yankees Hot Stove, we want to bring you part one of their two-part interview, which was done shortly after one of the Yanks' biggest rivals won the World Series. Hal, it's been three weeks since the Yankees have been eliminated from the postseason. Since then, we watched the Astros win another World Series title. Having some time to reflect, what does this organization do to get back to their winning ways? Well, we're all disappointed, needless to say. I mean, we had high expectations, particularly the way we started out this, this season, uh, more than half the season doing so well. We're just going to keep plugging away like we did last year. We improved on defense. We improved in other areas. We're going to have to sit down like we always do and see what areas we need improvement in, um, who we're going to bring back that was with us this year, who we're not. Um, you know, we've got a couple of young kids, three young kids actually, that uh, we're excited to see more and more of. So we're just going to we're going to work. Um, unacceptable what happened I mean there's no doubt about it you look at the Houston Astros they have knocked you guys out of the playoffs four times since 2015 this last time decidedly so in four games in the ALCS when you look at that organization why do you think they're better I'm not gonna make excuses they did go into the playoffs a bit healthier than us but like I said they're they're a great team um, I don't believe they're doing anything that we're not doing um, they're taking a look at their roster and their team every every season and they're making changes they're letting guys go if they have a good young option uh, below to come up and we're gonna be doing some of the same things too um, you know we're very excited about Peraza Volpe we saw what Cabrera could do um, so we're excited about some of our young people and you know they're gonna get playing time we'll see how it works out spring training but I don't think, you know, analytics, I think they're very balanced between pro scouting and analytics, as are we. And, um, but there's no doubt they've put together some, some great teams, and, and this, this year was certainly a great team. When you talk about some of those young guys, like Peraza, like Cabrera that we saw, we did not see Volpe. How much of a factor do you expect those guys to play in next season? Well, again, we'll see how they do spring training, how everything shakes out. But as I said in March, it's, it's certainly my intent to see those two guys in the middle of the infield. And now we have Cabrera as well that, that came up this year when we needed him and did a great job. Overall, have you been happy on the player development side in this organization? I think so. And I think a, a testament is the, you know, the last couple trade deadlines. Um, there's been a lot of our players, a lot of different players that have been asked about and, and you know, requested. And we gave away a lot of pitching this trade deadline. Um, you know, we really felt we needed to do everything we could to take us over the top, particularly since we did have a few injuries at that point. And, um, but, you know, the pitchers we give up are really good pitchers, and I think they're going to do great in the major leagues. And, of course, we've got the Prazas and the Volpes of the world and, and people even below them. So I think our player development is, has come a long way in the last five years. You mentioned areas where you need improvement. What are the glaring areas to you where this team needs improvement? I think we all have to realize that the team that we fielded opening day that Cash put together was one of the most dominant teams in all of baseball for months, not weeks, months. Um, then we got hit by a lot of significant injuries, a good amount of significant injuries, not pulled hamstrings, I mean season-ending injuries in numerous cases, and, and it affected us. Um, had we rolled into the postseason relatively healthy, uh, particularly with a couple players like Benintendi and, and LeMahieu, really good contact hitters, I think we would have done better in the playoffs. I think we would have scored more runs. Um, Houston's a great team, not taking anything away from them. But when you're facing great pitching, you've got to have a balanced lineup. And with those two guys injured, I think it affected us. So, you know, we'll see, we'll see who's going to be back that was with us this year. And we're going to continue to try to be a very diverse lineup um, and hopefully stay healthier than, than we did this year because it did have an effect. I mean, all teams have injuries. Tampa had a lot of injuries, so you know, it hurt them in the playoffs, too. Um, it's a fact of life. Aaron Boone said during the season and even after the season ended, he still believes this team is very, very close. Do you think this team is close? I, I think we're showed that we're very, very close the first three and a half months of the season. Um, that was the team we wanted on the field. And as I said, it wasn't a team we had on the field and a lot of different bullpen and lineup towards the end of the season. So, yes, I, I think if you look what we accomplished the first half plus of the season, that's the team we expected to be on the field the whole year.